The story of the Finnish schools is amazing, and here to help us tell that story is Anu Partanen. She wrote about this for The Atlantic, which I thought was a brilliant article uh, and, and something I did not know. So uh, first of all, let's talk about what Finland did to change their educational system in the first place so we can see what the right answers are. Well, when Finland started it, there was a long debate in Finland, too, how to reform the system. And before that, the Finnish system was actually very unequitable and it didn't produce great results. And what Finland decided to do was just to have one unified school system for everyone. And the aim of the Finnish reform was actually to build a school that would even out social inequality. So Finland wasn't really talking about excellent or achievement. Um, when they started this reform, it was more about how can we um, build a school that will treat all the children the same, that will give all the children the same opportunities, regardless of where they live or how wealthy their parents are. And one of the ways of doing this was just to basically build a school system that is the same everywhere, that gets uh, same funding from the government, that has teachers that all have been educated well. In Finland, you have to have a master's degree to be able to teach in schools. And so all these teachers in all the schools have gone through the same education. And in addition to that, Finland thought that the school should be looked at as a whole, not just um, as a place where you put information into students' heads. So it created a um, system around the schools, which includes free meals, warm lunches for all the students, um, nurses, psychologists, help like that inside the school. So also there's a, an extensive tutoring system inside the Finnish school. So Finnish parents don't really hire tutors outside the school. The idea is that all kids get the same help, even if their parents can't afford it. Look, not only are heads exploding all across the country right now, thinking about this system and how it works, but mine exploded as I was reading your article. I thought, no, come on, you know, I'm an American, I can't help it. I'm like, well, of course there has to be competition in the system, and of course you have to go for excellence and have rigorous testing and many hours of studying. You guys don't, I mean, they're finished, they don't even test the kids. They reluctantly went into these international tests. How in the world, as you're going for equality and you get rid of all that, how did you wind up getting at excellence anyway? Well, I think in Finland it really starts with the teachers. I'm often quite amazed by the discussion around teachers in America, because in Finland the thinking is that, um, first of all, you have to select the right people to become teachers. It's very hard to get into university to become a teacher in Finland. After that, they are highly trained, and once they come out of the university system, then you just get out of their way, which in Finland um, results to the fact that the, the schools are very independent, the teachers are very independent, the government doesn't go around watching over their shoulder the way they do here in America. So for me, it often seems that the Americans get it the wrong way around. It's not that hard to be a teacher in certain states. Um, as I understand it, in Texas, you can take a three-month online course to become a teacher. But then afterwards, there's all this monitoring and standardized tests and a lot of money spent on keeping teachers accountable. In Finland, it's the other way around. Uh, fin Finland does test the children. It's not, we're not complete hippies, <laughs> but um, <laughs> the tests are made by the teachers. So the teachers create their own tests and they assess the, the children and often they only give grades around fifth grade or so on. But So the idea is that there are no standardized tests that would be the same for everyone and that would be pushed on the school from the outside. The school itself creates the tests and, and values the students based on their classroom work and so on. Uh, so no, I, yeah, I'm glad you corrected that. I meant standardized testing. It's not like they never right. do a test in school, right? And, and, and you'd be surprised how easy it is to get any job in Texas I mean, you should see who they hand their governorship to. Uh, but now, you know, I have one theory on this, and that wasn't in your article, but my sense was that when you put all everybody in the same classes, poor, rich, et cetera, and, you know, you don't allow them to, uh, an escape hatch to go to private schools, et cetera, that the, everybody gets invested in the system, and they all got to pull it up together. I mean, if you had Bill Gates and everybody's kids in public schools, my God, they'd pour so much money into the public schools to make sure their kids got a decent education. Exactly, that's absolutely right. And I think in Finland, many people consider that to be a um, advantage that their children see different kinds of students in a classroom and, and get to know other people than just the people that are like them, whether it is wealthy or poor. All right. Anu Partanen with a great article. Thank you so much for joining us on The Young Tourist. Really appreciate it. Thank you.